Blakey is such an exciting player. I would not blame any club for going for him. And Sydney just always have a knack of having a really good backup. You know, they lose Jordan Dawson, they find good backups. It's just a constant cycle at Sydney. They've got a down pat there, a very, very good club. And although it's unlikely, I think it's a trade that makes sense for perhaps both. For Port Adelaide, I've gone with Oscar Allen. Charlie Dixon is getting on. They need another tall forward. Is someone like Todd Marshall going to leave or the other forward who's the Greek guy I've got his name before? So there is is a position there for Port Adelaide. Look, Port Adelaide have obviously signed so many tall players on the offseason. Ryder Galea, they've signed fucking Soldo, they've signed Sweet, they've signed Zerk Thatcher. But Ryder Galea and Zerk Thatcher look to be playing in the defense now that Jonas is gone and the other two are rucks. So none of them are really an out and out forward. If West Coast are looking terrible for the next five years, if there is going to be a, just a colossal rebuild, Oscar Allen, he's going into his prime, so he's still pretty young. He would want to get some success. He's not going to get it at the Eagles. Go join another club, and that club would be Port Adelaide with loads of good young talented midfielders. They would look likely to always be a decent team. For Richmond, one of the most realistic trades is Tom Green coming to the Tigers. His dad played for Richmond. Every trade season, every trade window that happens, all the Richmond Instagram accounts I follow, the fan accounts, always talk about this trade. Tom Green, he would be worth, he's worth so much. I mean, a big bodied, absolute bull, young, so much fucking talent, so much. The ceiling for Tom Green is so high. So Richmond are going to have to give up a fuck ton to get him there. But given the family connections, given the fact is it GWS, which is a club that doesn't have history and we've seen a lot of good players leave there before, especially midfielders. You know, we've seen Chalor, Adams, Steele, Taranto, Hopper. I could keep naming them. Shield. Always, you know, one of the best midfielders leaves. Why can't Tom Green leave? And I think the trade makes sense. Richmond need young players because they're going to go through a mini rebuild. Tom Green's one of those. Let's do it. Make that trade happen. Oh my God. I I would fucking froth that trade so hard. Now we have got trades for the St. Kilda Football Club. Very realistic. I've gone with Ben King. O honestly, like it just is destined to happen. Join the brother, Max and Ben King, playing together like they did in junior footy, playing AFL. Ben King at the Gold Coast Suns. Look, like I've said before, anyone from Gold Coast, especially Gold Coast, but also GWS and Freeman or maybe some other clubs, they are always likely to leave just because that's what Gold Coast do. They're a new club. No one wants to stay there. The lifestyle on the Gold Coast isn't for everyone. Is St. Kilda offered Ben King or offered Gold Coast a load for Ben King, I think they'll take it. And just for St. Kilda, do they need Ben King? Not necessarily, but players like Membry are getting on and we've seen with Max and Ben King, they're always injured. So the likelihood is they might not even play together if they're on the same team because one will be injured. So they do need some defensive stocks there. We've seen in 2023, the injuries in the forward line they had and how that affected them. Bring in a young, talented key forward like Ben King, you're looking good. For the Sydney Football Club, I've gone with Tim English. Now I believe Tim English might be from WA. I'm not so sure about that, but I honestly see a world where Tim English is just not favored at the dogs. I know he's their number one ruck and has been, and the dogs have put a lot of time and patience into it.